Hey everybody, video here for you today. Now I said in my last video on the plane of jars that I'm going to be doing an ancient history news video. That's really the only thing I have planned. I just haven't had time for YouTube this week to watch any videos or really make any videos. But I'm recording this early in the morning. I'll try to get this uploaded sometime Friday afternoon. I just thought this was an interesting story. This is something that a lot of us have heard about. But I haven't made a video on it for about eight years and I'm not even sure if that video still exists. Let's go down to the Aegean Sea today, the island of Antikythera. There was a pretty amazing find made right off this island, right down here. It was off this island over a century ago that some divers made a remarkable discovery that really baffled the scientific world. Let's just go over to a few articles here. This is The Guardian. The story came out a few hours ago. Astronomy scientists may have solved ancient mystery of first computer. Researchers claim breakthrough and study a 2,000-year-old Antikythera mechanism an astronomical calculator found in the sea and there is a look at it a remarkable piece of technology coming from ancient times i was glad to find this article this morning i thought it'd be a good review when you make over 2,000 videos some things just slip through the cracks so i wanted to review what this was all about and it's pretty remarkable let me just read here it says from the moment it was discovered more than a century ago scholars have puzzled over the antikythera mechanism a remarkable but baffling astronomical calculator that survives from the ancient world. The hand-powered 2,000-year-old device displayed the motion of the universe, predicting the movement of the five known planets, the phases of the moon, and the solar and lunar eclipses. But quite how it achieves such impressive feats has proved fiendishly hard to untangle. It says here, computer model of how the Antikythera mechanism may have worked. Here is the way it looked upon discovery. It took them a while to get all the debris off of it, encrusted on it. it. Took them a while to figure out what this was all about, but an astronomical calculator of the heavens. Now, this may come from about 2100 years ago, but where does the knowledge come from? The ancient people seemed to watch the stars, and that was cross culture. So, how far back does this knowledge go? Well, that's an interesting thing to think about, at least. Now here's an image I found, kind of an x-ray image of this device. Pretty remarkable. Seems like modern machinery coming from over 2,000 years ago. But it seems they have made a breakthrough here. Let's just read. It says, Now researchers at UCL believe they have solved the mystery, at least in part, and have set about reconstructing the device, gear wheels and all, to test whether their proposal works. We believe that our reconstruction fits all the evidence that scientists have gleaned from the extent remains to date. While other scholars have made reconstructions in the past, the fact that two-thirds of the mechanism are missing has made it hard to know for sure how it worked. The mechanism, often described as the world's first analog computer, was found by sponge divers in 1901 amid a haul of treasures salvaged from a merchant ship that met with disaster off the Greek island of Antikythera. The ship is believed to have gone down in a storm in the first century BC as it passed between Crete and the Peloponnese en route to Rome from Asia Minor. It says the battered fragments of corroded brass were barely noticed at first, but decades of scholarly work have revealed the object to be a masterpiece of mechanical engineering. Originally encased in a wooden box one foot tall, the mechanism was covered in inscriptions, a built-in user's manual, and contained more than 30 bronze gear wheels connected to dials and pointers, turned the handles and the heavens, as known to the Greeks, swung into motion. It says Michael Wright, a former curator of the mechanical engineering of the Science Museum in London, pieced together much of how the mechanism operated and built a working replica, but researchers have never had a complete understanding of how the device functioned. Their efforts have not been helped by the remnants surviving in 82 separate fragments, making the task of rebuilding it equivalent to solving a battery 3D puzzle that has most of its pieces missing. Writing in the journal Scientific Reports, the UCL team describe how they drew on the work of Wright and others and use the inscriptions on the mechanism and a mathematical method described by the ancient Greek philosopher Paramedes to work out new gear arrangements that would move the planets and other bodies in the correct way. The solution allows nearly all the mechanism's gear wheels to fit within a space only 25 millimeters deep. According to the team, the mechanisms may have displayed the movements of the Sun, Moon, and the planets Mercury, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter on concentric rings. Because the device assumed that the Sun 
and planets revolved around the earth, their paths were far more difficult to reproduce with gear wheels than if the sun was placed at the center. Another change the scientists propose is a double-ended pointer they call a dragon hand that indicates when eclipses are supposed to happen. The researchers believe the work brings them closer to a true understanding of how the Antikythera device displayed the heavens, but it's not clear whether the design is correct or could have been built with ancient manufacturing techniques. The concentric rings that make up the display would need to rotate on a set of nested hollow axles, but without a lathe to shape the metal, it is unclear how the ancient Greeks would have manufactured such components. But here it says computer model of the mechanism's gears. It says whether or not the model works, more mysteries remain. It is unclear whether the Antikythera mechanism was a toy, a teaching tool, or had some other purpose. And if the ancient Greeks were capable of such a mechanical devices, what else did they know with that knowledge? So some new research on this device. Here is another x-ray scan of it. Here is what it looked like upon discovery. And here is a proposed model of how it worked. I just think this is very interesting. Just closing here, it says, although metal is precious and so would have been recycled, it is odd that nothing remotely similar has been found or dug up. If they had the tech to make the Antikythera mechanism, why did they not extend this tech to devising other machines such as clocks? That is an interesting question to bring up, but new research into something I have not talked about for a long, long time. Just thought I'd do this video today. Here are a few other things found off the island of Antikythera, the shipwreck site. But certainly one of the most famous discoveries ever made was this Antikythera device, new research. Glad to do this video today. But that was one story I had just enough time to report on this morning. Proud to be talking to you folks this weekend. Ancient History News video, maybe a couple other things. Hope you thought that was interesting. You all have a very nice day.